Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in, whatever time it is for you that you're watching this. This is the Wix online meeting number 21, most of our way through March in 2014. I don't think we have much to discuss today, so this will probably be a very short meeting unless people start throwing comments in the comment box over on the side. So uh, the agenda, oh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to make this time slot, so just be aware of that as we talk about things. So anyway, we'll do triage, which I don't think will take us very long. Uh, we'll talk about the GitHub status, only in that we have done so, and then we'll cover any questions, comments that people bring up uh, while we're doing triage and such like that. So go ahead and start typing those in if you have them. Otherwise, like I said, this is going to be a short meeting. So. We're off to triage. You ready, Bob? I am ready. All right. Three issues, and I think two of them we covered last week, so I'm kind of <laughs> like, let's put these in the right spot already. Um, MSI always hashed payloads to verify they are the right payload. Uh, if I remember correctly, we discussed this last week that we would do the minimal change in 3X and 3.9 to basically flip the suppress validation the other way around and go with that. Yes? I believe that's where we ended up, yes. All right, so... That, that eliminates the need for the whip, right? That was the other um, reason this bug was still open. Yeah, that, I, I think that will eliminate the whip, and we'll just flip it, and when people ask, we'll be like, yeah, we did this change, you shouldn't, nothing will change, and all that kind of stuff. I, I mean, most people won't even notice. They don't, they're like, I didn't even know it was doing secure verification or whatever. It is no less secure. That's what matters most. So yeah. put this in 3.9, give it to me, and I'll do that flip when I get around to my 3.9 bugs push. Yes? Uh -huh. All right, cool. Um, yeah, all right. Now, the next bug, Visual Studio 2012, becomes corrupt after installing Wix 3.8. Um, I'm pretty sure that we just needed more information on that, right? Because we're like, yeah, you have extensions. They're probably crashing votive because some extensions do that to votive. True? Uh, I, I don't I don't know. Um, the information we got shows a... Whoa. You okay there? Yeah, I, I just got a pop-up. It was weird. All right. Is there any progress on this issue? All right, so we need to leave a comment for this. Yeah, I I don't I don't know what to do with this personally. Um, I mean, yeah, we have one report. It seems to be machine specific. Um, I'm sure it's extension specific. We have other reports that certain extensions cause the motive to go unhappy. Um, like. What do you call it? The achievement thingy. <laughs> yeah, this this seems worse than that. I haven't heard that any of those will crash Visual Studio. I see. They just kind of make things not work well, but sort of yeah. studios. Well, um, the guy is asking for progress on the issue, so we need to do something to this bug so it looks like we did something. I mean not assigned to anybody. Um, someone needs to go decide that this is important to them and go hunt it down, right? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we can certainly open it in 3X and... I, I mean, this guy's been nice. He's been answering questions and he's asking Absolutely. for progress. So we need Absolutely. to put that in here and... So, yeah. Um... And I don't know, it's votive, so I'm kind of like, yeah, someone's going to have to fix that. <laughs> uh, not it. I guess it's kind of where I'm at with it. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll add a note. If, you know, it might be related to the other, um, the other problems we have because of MPF. Wouldn't um, surprise me. So yeah, it might go into that bucket. I'll I'll add a comment and untriage it. All right, so that he has. All right, cool. So that he'll have. So he knows so that we're not completely ignoring him since he's 
probably not digging through these calls to find us talk about his one bug. Yep. Especially since the last call was so long. All right. And now on to our one bug of the last two weeks. Look at that. Two weeks. Yeah. Did we skip last week? No. It oh, just came in late. I think it came in after the meeting. But isn't that only seven days? Oh, updated six days. Oh, okay. Party was open and then got reopened. Yeah. Or did we talk? Oh, yeah. We did talk about this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we're waiting for verbose. Oh, this is the SA and AS thing. Yes, this yeah, bug. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. We had no new bugs then. We don't. <laughs> Triage should have been very fast this week if we had <laughs> done our bookkeeping last week um, somehow. All right. Note to self, come back and watch this. All right. So, yeah, we need someone to go try this out and figure out if this really behaves the way he says it does because it didn't sound right before. Right. All right. So we leave this untriaged in 3X for now. Uh, it's, I mean, we've triaged it. Yeah. Uh, put it in 3X until we figure out what to do with it? Yeah, I'll open it and add a comment to send a ping mail that, you know, we really need those logs or probably nothing's going to get done. Right. Right. Or rather, logs would really help something happen. Yeah, because still someone's got to go investigate this. Yeah, but a lot more people can look at logs and go, oh, I know the problem, than have a SQL Server set up. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're down to zero issues. Yay, with not a whole lot incoming. Well, zero incoming in the last week. Yeah. All right, done with triage? All good there? Looks right. All right. What's next? Ah, GitHub status. Um, my hope is that this is kind of the last time I talk about this concept here. Um, and by the way, John, thank you for being, yeah, m mentioning again that we covered this last time. Um, so GitHub status, like I said, it look, we're now on GitHub as we've been discussing for the last, I don't know, was it two months, month and a half, something like that. So far, everybody seems to be really happy with it. I know that I am really happy with the layout, um, especially this repo per Wix toolset major version and things like that. It makes it very easy. You enlist in this one branch and boom, you're right in the right spot, the develop branch for whatever we're doing for that place. So I've been really happy with the way that that's been coming together. Uh, the only issue with the GitHub status is that there's back office stuff that I have to do to get everything up and running, and I've just been kind of running around this week, so I have not done that. But builds are my priority, getting them back online, because it's been, as Bob pointed out to me a little while ago, a long time. And someone on Wix users asked, are you guys still doing builds? And yes, the answer is yes, we're still doing builds, and I just have been doing so much back office stuff that I think this is the end of it all. Um, Although, to be fair, in 3X, at least, there have been just a handful of changes in you know in the last two months so yeah I, it, it, if there had been more and if there's more things going around I probably yeah. would have prioritized this over some of the other things I've been doing probably but that's okay I mean no worries everything's coming online it's just when you get a whole lot of infrastructure change it ends up sucking a, out a lot of the time that I would spend for other things and so then I have to run around and it's just it's fine it's just kind of work our way through it and nobody has been, had been really really screaming so We'll get there. So otherwise, we're up and running. And those of you guys that had those fantastic pull requests that we need to handle, feel free to get those over, and we'll push them through and all that stuff. Sean's not on the call, but Jacob's here, so you can go ahead and do that. Um, if there are any other questions, things about GitHub, we'll put them, we'll cover them in the next slide, because I think we're on the questions and comments. Right? Anything else to say about GitHub, Bob, other than it seems it's working? Works for me. I've been... You know, the ability to merge simple changes right from the, the web UI. I hate to say it, but I really like it. <laughs> it is, it's been working well. All right. On that note, questions, comments. So Jake has brought up something. Was it intentional to allow those two Wix PDBs into Wix 3X? Which PDBs? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Into Wix 3X. Did I accidentally 
insert a binary into Wix 3x when I pulled it over uh, from the testing side. Um, Jacob, why don't you send an email and we'll go hunt down that issue. Um, the way that I did the move to GitHub was to bring code over and then I basically just bit blitted over everything. So uh, it's possible a file showed up that wasn't intended to be in there or something. So um, I don't think I lost any files, but I may have added a couple ones that I didn't know were in there. So if you could point out the exact paths, we'll go look at it. Maybe we just have to go delete a couple files and call it good. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I figured, 15-minute meeting. Is there anything else going on? Ah, all right, here's something I want to point out. Um, I don't know who, there's there's someone on the call that has used the name Observer, which I appreciate people want to hang out and just watch. Um, in general, in the Wix toolset, because we have lots of big, lots of people working on it in the Wix toolset, it's important. Oh, okay. Christopher, Christopher is telling me it's, it's him, it's not intentional, it's hanging out. All right, cool. So I'm just going to put this on the record, and everybody here is following along appropriately, so it's awesome, I love it. Um, the in general we try to use real names and all that instead of you know pseudonyms I remember someone was rowboat for a while I don't remember who that was um, but then they started using their real names and everything so it's it's nice everybody knows you know who's who and all that kind of stuff we're not we're not anonymous here um, <laughs> we're building installation packaging technology so anyway um, all right I guess that's it. We had a nice big crowd today for a very short meeting. Uh, maybe I'll get people to continue to show up. They'll be like, oh, this is really short. I'll just jump on for 10 minutes, and then I'll be out. Bob, you have anything else? I have nothing else. All right. Cool. So I think that's all we got this week. Uh, we'll be back again next week looking at bugs and things like that. Uh, hopefully the builds will be online. And as those things come online, we'll get more. We have some things to go discuss and get things going. So anyway. Uh, I guess for this week, you guys have a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever you're doing, and we'll see you next week. Later. Bye.